hi everyone welcome back to my channel today is gonna be the get ready with me video and that's me using the first process of my makeup today uh, this is the serum that used to help your bloating early in the morning so yeah before starting your makeup i do this process the first so that my face looks kind of smaller <laughs> yeah you just have to put that serum and with the help of that you just stretch your face like that yeah and don't forget your neck also for the first step i use the peeling pad to clear my skin and my pores use the cleaning pad in your face and rub over your face so that it will smooth your skin moisturize your skin yeah it feels so fresh you just have to dab 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 in your face now it's time to use the toner i use this Selimax toner a lot because i like how it smooth your skin and yeah this is one of the best product in the korea it's really moisturize your skin and balance your skin also and also i use this elimax ampoule too so just a little drop of it makes your skin look so smooth and moisture so i love these two products a lot i use this like in a daily basis as my skin products yeah that looks fresh by the way uh, i love to dab in my face instead of rubbing so for the next i use the cetaphil moisturizing cream it really really smooth your skin for like a 24 hours So for the sunblock, I use this Dr. Jot Plus every Sunday sunblock. It is like kind of a creamy, but it really absorbs in your skin smoothly. And I prefer the sunblock in every season, no matter it's winter, summer. Don't forget to wear your sunblock when you are outside. Before starting, let's moisturize your lips first. Mm, this lip balm is one of my favorite lip balm before going to the face uh, the setting spray i use is urban decay i love to spray the <coughs> oh, yeah <laughs> like i love to spray the setting spray first before going to the foundation or a concealer on my face uh, this is a maybelline concealer that i'm using it's Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. Uh, it really, really covers cover your all those dark circle under your eyes. So yeah, I prefer this one the most. So going before going for any foundation or any kind of a cushion, hide all those dark spots by your concealer. Today I'm not wearing any kind of a foundation so I'm just doing my makeup with concealer and some BB cream. This one, the BB cream I'm using is Dr. Jot Plus BB Rejuvenating Cream that I bought recently and I think I'm applying this for like the first time.
to give the matte finishing i'm finishing with the powder and i'm using this coat glow color product using my brush and just apply it smoothly on your face so that my face doesn't look kind of oily and i really prefer the matte finishing instead of a moisture finish so yeah now it's time to do my brow actually i'm not so good at brow but still i do my best and i'm using the 3c eyebrow color it's kind like a brown and mix of a black so it really suit my face i'm really not good at a brow by the way so I'm just feeling my unfinished area. It's time to shade your face now. I'm using this Too Cool Art Glass by Rodin shading products. This one is like a really famous product in Korea. Literally everyone owns it. Yeah, I'm doing my nose. And yeah, using that brush, I'm going to shade my face. Shading your face kind of look makes your face look smaller and give you that V shape. So yeah, shading your face is a must. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to start with my base color, and this one is like a Eater House product. Look at my Eyes Cafe Tasty Cashew Nut product. I don't like heavy color in my eyes, so I use this product almost. Now I'm going to use the 3C Multi Eye Color Palette Overtake. From here I'm going to use that brown color in my eyelid only just to give that little bit of dark vibe today i'm going to do some little bit dark eye makeup so i'm using this product from 3c applying a little bit dark color in your eyelid make your eyes look little bit bigger and get that big eyelid also so cleaning my face a little bit because of all those eyeshadows and yeah uh, i don't forget to do the underline also because i like that the reddish kind of a vibe in my eyes so i always use the same color from my eyeshadow to my underline just to give the wholesome eye makeup before going for a mascara I like to fill those gap between my eyelashes with my waterproof liner. I don't like those gap between my eyelashes so I always do this liner the first. And you just have to blend it with a brush for a natural look. And for liner I'm using this kill cover liner. This one is like a really, really dark liner and it stay for like a 24 hours. I prefer to do the little bit wings on my eyes 
so that my eyes look kind of bigger aligning my eyes is like the foremost of my makeup back in my days i used to do some heavy makeup on my eyes like i really really put the lots of eyeliner on my eyes because that was the trend that time and yeah today i just prefer the little bit of wings in my eyes rather than those heavy liner I'm going to use that dark shade from my palette and gonna smudge in my liner with that color instead of using liner use your eyeshadow and smudge in your eyes then it will make your eyes look less heavier as well as it gives you those little bit smoky eyes almost finished my eye makeup and now it's time for my lashes so first I'm curling my lashes with this Daiso product and I'm using the my favorite Perifera mascara it literally gives your lashes the volume look at that volume This is one of my favorite mascara because it curls your lashes to the top and it stays a lot 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 longer than other mascara. I mean look at that follow. It literally gives the life to my dead lashes. For the finishing I am going to put some concealer again. To cover some dust from my eyes makeup so again using my favorite Maybelline concealer for the highlight I'm using prism air from Clio but I am using this for my eyes not for my face For the blush, I'm using the pink shade from my palette and applying from my ELF brush to my face. Today I'm not applying the much blush in my face because today highlight is like my eyes. So I'm just applying the little bit to my cheeks. When your mascara is dry, Curl it for the last time for the better long lasting volume. Before going for a lip, uh, I'm removing my lip glosses and cleaning my lip area with the buff. For the lip, I'm applying my favorite foreign coast tint, tender shade in color. This tint applies smoothly on your lips and it stay a little bit longer than other lip tint. So I prefer this one a lot. Now, instead of a brush, I like to smudge it with my hand. I'm almost ready now. Mm, for the last time, I am again applying this lip tint on my inner side of my lips so it gives your lips the more gradient look.
after removing your hair roller hold your bang for a second and it gives your bang a more natural follow like this now comb your hair with your big brush and yeah I'm all ready now and here is my final look Thank you.